this a lot. Maple syrup could be the latest weapon in fighting superbugs. New research suggests that an extract from maple syrup can drastically improve the potency of antibiotics without enhancing any of their side effects. In fact, researchers were able to obtain the same effect by using up to 97% less antibiotic with that extract. And how about this? There's new evidence that massage therapy can be an effective treatment for chronic chronic lower back pain. Researchers in Indiana had doctors refer patients to massage therapists who designed and provided a series of 10 massages. More than half said that they experienced less lower back pain. The study also found baby boomers and older adults were more likely to experience changes for the better. Pete, you hear this? Patients who take opioids to treat pain also saw some improvements but they were less likely to experience meaningful change. All right, what's your motivation to work out? Losing weight, building muscle? Or is it to have a drink or two on Saturday night? Well, it seems more and more people are using cocktails as an incentive <laughs> to work up the sweat. And as Matt King explains, some gyms are happy to accommodate. If I know I'm going to go out, I definitely want to hit the gym before. <laughs> well, it may not quell a physical hangover. A little exercise, but mostly clean up my system, water, play some video games. Exercise for many of us soothes our minds, helping us to justify other activities less beneficial to our long-term health. It depends on how much I drink, I guess. You're like, all right, I feel good. I'm ready to party. <laughs> Gyms aren't supposed to be exclusive to just making yourself work out hard and die. It's about like an actual whole lifestyle. Lifetime athletic physical trainer Michael Coggins works at the Sky location on 42nd Street. In its cafe, this Lifetime Athletic offers beer and wine to those who've just finished, and hopefully not those about to begin, a workout. Exercising anytime alleviates all guilt. But Lifetime offers booze not just because its members are more likely to feel they've earned it than the average person who hasn't just completed a workout. Drinking can form the kinds of social bonds necessary to create the kind of community gyms today strive to establish. Myth, beer is the cause of beer bellies. Reality, just because you like to work out, that doesn't mean you can't enjoy beer too. Nicolo's branded itself the go-to beer for those who care about fitness, posting workout tips on its YouTube page and running commercials showing attractive athletic people sweating and then drinking together. Michael says individuals rely on that kind of community for motivation to work out and stick to a routine. And if an occasional drink after exercising leaves one more likely to exercise again, that's a net positive. If you don't enjoy what you're doing, if you don't enjoy the people you're around, you don't do it, right? It's basically kind of like human need and human wants. On the West Side, I'm Matt King, Fox Side News. I was saying beautiful gym. Yeah. It's a beautiful gym. With all the, all the amenities. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Including a little bit of yeah, a... open bar. I don't think... Yeah, that, that, see, that doesn't work out for me. I, I need to just work out, focus on the workout, right. no alcohol. But you can look forward to it after. Yeah. After, yes. but I can think of places I'd rather go after. Than just there you go, right, ice running. cream or something like that. Yeah, maybe it's, it's a little bit of a social thing, maybe, though, you know, maybe. you continue. It's a single person thing. All right, exactly. so we go, we go so. one hour until the rain starts. Yeah, just, 